So we're just continuing on with the straight eight here. Um, uh, I need a distributor on it for the spark. So uh, the this uh, V8 uh, Dodge distributor, and uh, this is a uh, slant six Dodge or Chrysler, whatever you want to call them. So as you can see there, the the base is quite a bit different. So it's the shaft length, etc. So since I already have a mount made for this one. Uh, I decided to uh, get inventive here and uh, pull the, the uh, I don't know what you call it, point cam out of the distributors. And uh, this is for the 6. And this one's for the 8. And if you set them side by side, they're basically twins. So, as it turns out, so this is the 6 distributor and the 8, I don't want you to call it rotor. How do you like that? Fits right on. I uh, used a micrometer to take, you know, rough measurement, just put it on there, and they seem the same. So, uh, so it should work fine for my uh, purposes there. Since I've got the, the mount already made, it uh, clamps on the distributor here, and I use my uh, chain sprocket for... Uh, chain drive I just have to uh, this is a, a second distributor. here's the the first uh, uh, slant six distributor I had it was cast iron so I visited Roblin garage again there and uh, Lawrence provided me with an aluminum one and that uh, works out better because it has the correct slot in it for uh, the rotor I uh, want to use this time so my uh, my eight cylinder cap should fit on and the rotor will fit and uh, I can uh, uh, adjust the points, uh, whatever there, so that uh, they'll work. I may have to phase uh, the points, but we'll see how it all works out here. Hopefully I can get it to work one way or another. That way I don't have to make a, a new mount to hold the uh, the back end. Since I, it, it's completely different this time than it was on the straight four, uh, you where I used the V8 distributor. So Anyway, just continuing on here. Okay, so... Had to tear a couple of couplings apart again, so I uh, checked the rephasing of it. So here we got uh, number eight at the top, so number one's at the top. Anyway, she's phased right. I just wanted to hit her with the starter here, show you what it looks like when she's flipping the pistons all up and down there. So uh, on a straight eight there, we'll get number one. There, he's coming up on compression. Number two's at the bottom on intake. Number three's on exhaust at 90 degree position. Looks like compression. Number five is intake. Number six, uh, probably power stroke. Number seven, exhaust. And number eight, let's say, uh, and uh, in between intake and exhaust yeah so so this type of crankshaft one and two are opposites as are seven and eight and then 90 degrees see all four mid ones are are uh, at the mid position right now if I flip her over to a 90 degree crank position on number one then number three is at the top Four is at the bottom, five is at the bottom, six is at the top. And the last two are at the 90 degree position again. So, so it looks like I got her phased right, which is a good thing. That means I stand to hope in having it run correctly. Got my distributor there being driven off number three cylinder, and I got it rotating the opposite direction since, in fact, on the six cylinder I had the spark retard instead of spark advance. So that might have had something to do with the 3500 RPM top end on it there. Hard to say, could have been that, or the intake manifolds, but anyway, uh, I'll continue on here. It's uh, kind of hard work these days. It's uh, 94 Fahrenheit out here right now, so yeah, I'm definitely breaking a sweat doing this stuff.